Hey everybody, let's uh, go through the menus on this new 2023 F350 Lariat Ultimate. Uh, this one does have the Tremor package upgrade, so some of this stuff will be a little different, um, but let's check it out together. So, um, we can see right now the engine brake is on, so if we go ahead and press this button right here, that will remove that from the feature. Uh, you can see we've got a digital speedometer on this side, some info in the middle, some gauges up top, I'm going to stop put my hand inside there because it is going to mess up the uh, focus on the camera. So on the right side of your steering wheel, you have some menu buttons up, down, OK and back. Um, these are going to be our main controls and we're just going to go through some stuff. So we're going to start just cycling down as we cycle down. You can see my view, trip fuel, heads up display as with the ultimate package. You do get heads up display. You can go customize your gauges. You can go into some off road menus. Uh, towing, some status information, and navigation. And we can go through phone, audio, vehicle maintenance, and settings. Um, let's go into my view. So this is where we can go in and just take a look at what we have. So right now there's calm view, there's trip one, fuel economy, tire pressure. And then if we press okay at the bottom of those, after toggling through all those, we can go and pick which ones we want. So you can have driver assistance, calm view, a blank screen, uh, trip one, trip two, fuel economy, tire pressure, some general measurements. Uh, so let's just turn on a couple of these diesel measurements, diesel gauges, oh, maximum screens is seven. So let's go turn off a couple so we can see what those ones look like. We'll turn off fuel economy uh, and we'll turn off trip one and let's go take a look. So we're just gonna turn on the diesel gauges and we're gonna turn on the trailer information and uh, we're gonna back out of this and we're gonna go down and see what that looks like. So driver assistance, calm screen, tire pressure. So general measurements. Now this is giving us engine coolant temp, temperature for the transmission, oil temperature and battery voltage, all read out, not just with gauges, but actual accurate measurements, which is super nice. Uh, then we can go to the diesel measurements. I like this too. Turbo boost being measured, engine brake, exhaust filter, and def level. Uh, great. Thank you, Ford, for throwing that all in there. That is nice to keep a look at. Oh, we do have in our diesel gauges an actual gauge if we want to scroll through it. Uh, and then there's no trailer information right now because we don't have a trailer selected, nor are we hooked up to a trailer. Um, let's back out of this menu, go down to the trip fuel menu. If we enter into this one so we can see trip one, um, which you can see some averages right there. Uh, trip two, I can scroll down through and then fuel economy. Um, if we back out of trip and fuel, heads up display. Um, so the heads up display is on. We can then go into adjustment where we can adjust the brightness, vertical or image rotation. Uh, we can look at the content. So right now we've got the uh, kilometers to empty, time and temperature, driver assistance and pitch and roll off-road layout. Um, so if we enter into these, oh, it's just, it's just an on-off toggle switch. And that's basically all it's gonna give you. So uh, if you look at the heads-up display in here, you'll see, so you've got time, you've got temperature and you have a digital speedometer. If we start to turn on things like cruise control, that will appear Then uh, lane departure system. If we turn that on, again, that will appear. So you start to see more and more information in there. Um, come back down to this display, get back out of that menu. Drive mode layout, you can go in. Um, so we can have automatic, normal, tow haul, or off-road. Uh, I don't know what this does when we change this menu. It doesn't look like it is changing much for us. Um, the gauges look the same. Everything kind of looks the same. So I'm not sure what drive mode layout is changing, but we'll, we'll take a look at that after. Gauges, this is where we can go and we can pick up uh, some information on the gauges, general measurements, uh, turbo boost and auxiliary gauges. Uh, Okay, so it's just basically, if you wanna go into each individual gauge, that's how you do it through these menus. Then we go down into the off-road. If we go into off-road, we can see off-road status. And this is going to basically give us two screens, one on the top, pitch and roll, and uh, angle of approach, articulation, and angle of side to side. Get back out of there. 
can go into towing where we can set up trailer information. There's no trailers selected. Trailer light status where we can make sure the trailer lights. If we go into this, you can go into and make sure that everything's good. Trailer tire information. Um, so trailer with tire pressure monitor capability not detected. Um, so the truck will actually detect trailers if they have the right tire pressure monitors. That's kind of neat. Um, shows us the gain and our balance. So how our truck is sitting when hooked up to the trailer. And uh, again, back out of there. And basically these are all just the little menus we've already just went through. Um, status and information. We go through this, we can see seat belts, see who's all hooked up and who isn't. We can go into engine information. We can see we've got five hours on this engine, uh, two hours of idle time and the engine oil life is at 100%. Um, that's good information, especially on diesels that might sit and idle for a long time. Navigation, so we can go in and we can start looking at uh, things to do with the navigation. Um, so we can go into home, we can look at previous destinations. Uh, you can go look at favorites, points of interest nearby. Uh, let's see what brings up points of interest nearby. Um, okay, so we can pull up food, um, starts bringing things. Uh, you can tell I'm in Canada because there's a Tim Hortons close to us. Uh, you can probably also tell I'm in Canada because everything's in metric. Um, but in the navigation, that's kind of cool. I like that we can do the points of interest from the steering wheel. We can look up an ATM, we can look up hotels, we can look up some food, no gas, but still pretty good. Um, back out of the navigation screen, uh, we can go into phone, which is not a phone paired. I imagine this would bring us into recently called, that kind of stuff. Audio, we can go into audio, start picking the source. Vehicle maintenance. So you can check your tire pressures from here. Uh, you can see the backs are really heavy and the fronts are lighter. Um, set up for towing, oil life, uh, def information telling us we need to change it approximately every 7,500 kilometers, the exhaust filter, percentages that's at, and the engine air filter. Uh, okay, so it gives you a life monitor on that now that you can reset. And then the settings menu. Go into the settings menu, we can configure the gauges. Okay, so we can swap gauge positions. We can put in the left or the right uh, or the temperature gauge option. So we can do a standard or we can do a detailed. Oh, detailed, I like that. Again, giving us uh, readouts of what everything's on there. And then we can kind of just go in and select the positions of those gauges. Um, awesome. We can do a speedometer a mile an hour. We can put us into a neutral tow. Um, all right, which I'm sure there's a procedure to follow. And that is about it. So the only thing you're seeing in this display that's not showing right now um, is uh, is basically if we are starting to drive, this does have a camera that'll take a picture of the speed limit signs and post those by the speedometer. So it'll show you what the speed limit is um, based on what the camera has detected it. If it hasn't seen a speed limit sign for a long time, it will default to the GPS speed limit sign, which may or may not be correct because they change those and don't necessarily update the GPS. Um, but the camera works awesome as you drive by a sign, even if it goes from, you know, whatever, 50 to 30 to 80, whatever it is, it'll show it in this display. So uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. Do me a huge favor and click subscribe to this channel. If you want to see more videos like this, um, hit the bell icon. You'll be notified every time I make a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks, everyone.